Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa. Murise. My name is MJ Omoto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Stubborn by Victoni. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Vocally, Victoni is a standout act. His voice is not only brilliant, but you can listen to it over and over without any monotony. This is part of what makes his new album, Stubborn, a fairly easy listen from start to finish. And it's his debut album, by the way. As I was listening to this project, you know, somewhere down the middle, it felt like this record started becoming more and more experimental. And I think that was intentional. Think of songs like uh, Risk, Tiny Apartment with St. John, Slow Down with Tizo Touchdown. Uh, and Slow Down has got this snare that reminds me of 80s disco. These records are actually out of the way compared to the start of the album and then other singles Victoria has dropped prior to the album dropping. It breaks up the listening experience and almost challenges the listener's resolve for discovery. Then ultimately brings you back to that expected zone with the title track with um, Ashake, Stubborn. Uh, and yeah, I really wasn't expecting that. But to me, it makes me think that Victoni listens to a wide range of music that's not only in particularly the Afrobeats sort of lane. And Victoni obviously took this opportunity to collaborate with some highly niched acts that don't necessarily make music for everybody, but are highly musical. This was an interesting play considering you also have instantly recognizable names in Afrobeats such as Ashake and Shelly Poki. I can't help but feel that Victoni had a lot of fun making this project. Why that's important is because many musicians once they are within the money. They start making music for the financial moves, whether by being forced by a label or of their own accord. And many times the music tends to be templated. Luckily, this is not what's happening with Victoni. And to be in a mental space where you still continue to connect with your audience and enjoy the process of getting there whilst making bank is reserved for the few especially in these days where there's pressure to feed the algorithm and drop music pretty much all the time. I believe Victoni is still enjoying the process of making music and discovering how much he can push the envelope. That's why we get dope music from him like this. And for a debut album, he really did give us something unique and gave us versions of himself and still took us to the hits and what we expect to hear of him when he drops singles. There are too many hits on Stubborn, to be honest. I really enjoyed Anita. Yeah, I think this song is going to be big. Sunday School, Ludo with Shelly Poppy, uh, Risk, History, and obviously the smash hit, uh, everything. Uh, not including the title track in itself with Ashage, which has been a joy to listen to over the last few weeks. How do I rate Stubborn by Victoni? I give it a 7.8 out of 10. By the way, before I dip, my website is now up and running, mjwemoto.com, m-j-w-e-m-o-t-o.com. Just check it out. Check it out. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Day and day. This podcast is hosted by MJ. MJ.